in the last class we have derived transmission line equation in voltage form now we will derive the transmission line equation in current form firstly differentiate the equation number 2 with respect to t we will get the equation number 7 what is the equation num equation 2 minus do v by do z is equal to r i plus l do i by do t equation 2 so equation 2 we have derived in the last class by applying the kvl to the transmission line circuit now if we differentiate the equation number 2 with respect to t we will get the equation number 7 similarly differentiate the equation 4 what is the equation 4 do i by do z is equal to vg plus c do v by do t this is equation number 4 equation number 4 we have derived in the last class by applying the kcl to the transmission line circuit now if we differentiate the equation number 4 with respect to z we will get the equation 8 now substitute the equation 2 and equation 7 to the equation number 8 we will get the transmission line equation in current form do square i divided by do z square is equal to g replace the do v by do z in the eighth equation by second equation to equation number 2 that is r into i plus l do i by do t plus c do by do t of do v by do z replace by equation number 7 that is r into do i by do t plus l do square i do t square by rearranging the equation number 9 we will get the current equation of transmission line the voltage and current on the line are the functions of both position z and time t the instantaneous line voltage and current can be expressed as below where vfz and ifz are complex quantities of sinusoidal functions of position z on the line uh, line and are known as phases the phases give the magnitude and phase of sinusoidal function at each position of z and expressed as below two equations where v plus and i plus indicate complex amplitudes in the positive z direction v minus and i minus indicate complex amplitudes in the negative z direction where the gamma is the propagation constant and gamma equal to alpha plus beta where gamma is the propagation constant alpha is the attenuation factor or constant in napier's per unit length beta is the phase constant in radians per unit length to find out the transmission line equations in phase of form of the frequency domain consider the transmission line 
with the length of delta z. When we apply the voltage to the source, the current at this loop is I and the current at this loop is I plus delta I. With a small change in the length delta z, there is, a, there is a small change in the voltage that is V plus delta V. So what is the value of the delta V? To find out the value of the delta V, consider the first loop that is minus R delta z plus J omega L delta z y minus as we know that the voltage to the source always greater than the v plus delta v therefore delta v is minus now apply the limit limit delta z tends to zero delta V become delta V by delta Z is equal to minus R plus J omega L into I. Sorry, I forgot to write here into I. Equation number 1. This one can we write like this, right? dv by dz equal to a minus z into i. Impedance. So what is the impedance? Impedance is the r plus j omega here. So what is the small value of the delta I, small value of the current, what is delta I equal to, consider this loop, delta I is, consider the second loop, minus G delta Z plus J omega C delta Z into V. So limit delta Z tends to zero. Then delta I divided by delta Z equal to minus G plus J omega C into V. So this equation can be write like this. D I divided by DZ is equal to minus y into v or is that admittance admittance is equal to g plus j omega c equation number three now differentiate the equation two with respect to z that is dv by dz is equal to minus z into i which is equal to minus r plus j omega l into i differentiate with respect to z we will get is equal to minus r plus j omega l di by dz which is equal to minus r plus j omega l 
minus d plus j omega c into v this is the one of the transmission line equation phase of form that is equal to minus gamma square into v where gamma is propagation constant that is root of admittance into impedance that is equal to root of r plus j omega l j plus j omega c similarly differentiate the equation 3 with respect to z da by dz equal to minus admittance into v which is equal to minus d plus j omega c into v differentiate with respect to z di by dz square is equal to minus g plus j omega c into dv by dz which is equal to minus g plus j omega c minus r plus j omega l into i so therefore d square i divided by d z square is equal to gamma square into v so gamma square into into i this is the another transmission line equation sorry here that should be a plus right minus of r plus j omega l into minus of g plus g omega c it should be equal to plus gamma square Therefore, following four equations are the transmission line equations in phase of form of the frequency domain. Where Z is the impedance, which is given by R plus J omega L. Y is the admittance, G plus J omega C. Gamma is the propagation constant that is given by root of Z into Y, which is equal to alpha plus J beta. Where alpha is the attenuation constant, beta is the phase constant. R, L, G and C are the primary constant parameters of the transmission line. For a lossless transmission line, R equal to G equal to 0, then the transmission line equations are expressed as following four equations, where V and I are expressed in the below two equations. Propagation constant that is gamma, gamma equal to root z into y. Z is impedance, y is admittance. Impedance of the transmission line in terms of the primary constants is given by r plus j omega l and y is equal to g plus j omega c. So, gamma is equal to root of z into y, that is root r plus j omega l plus g plus j omega c. In the second line, q 
keep the j omega and lc outside root of j omega and lc outside we will get the equation as in the second line for in the third line we have used the binomial theorem as we know that what is the binomial theorem 1 plus a x to the power n is equal to 1 plus n into a x plus in this equation root of 1 plus r divided by j omega l into 1 plus g divided by j omega c for that equation for that term we are applying the binomial expansion when we are applying the binomial expansion we will get the equation like this that 1 plus half r divided by j omega l into 1 plus half into g divided by j omega c the from the third term from the third term of the binomial expansion we will uh, we will get a very very less value that's why we are neglecting here then again simplify the third line of the expression we will get the fourth line and again simplify we will get the propagation constant equation what is the propagation constant half of half into r root of c divided by l plus g into root divided by l root of l divided by c plus j omega root lc where alpha is half into r root c by l plus g root l by c beta is omega root lc because propagation constant is equal to alpha plus j beta characteristic impedance that is z naught is given by root z divided by y z is equal to r plus j omega l y equal to g plus j omega c in from the first to second line keep the root l by c outside we will get the second line equation from the second to third line we are applying the binomial expansion and simplified z naught equation is root l by c 1 plus half of r divided by j omega l minus g divided by j omega c z naught is approximately equal to root l by c for lossless line since we know that r equal for the lossless line r equal to g equal to zero and phase velocity phase velocity is given by omega divided by beta which is equal to 1 by root lc the product of lc is independent of size and separation of the conductors and depends on permeability and permittivity of the insulating medium